What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and as a follow up to my last video where I spoke about what's inside my wrestling training gear bag, today I am giving you guys five tips for your first day of professional wrestling training, professional wrestling school, how to make a good impression, how to not get heat with the trainer, just what you need, how you need to do it. I'm gonna give you the rundown here. Some background on me. Firstly, my name is Joe. I've been a professional wrestler on shows for a year and I have been training for two years. I like to think I've developed enough knowledge on the business to tell you guys how to make a good impression when it comes to your first day. I was trained by the UBW Square One Academy in Hitchin in Hertfordshire. Fantastic facility, fantastic school. And guys, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about today isn't compulsory. You're not gonna get heat, you're not gonna get blacklisted, you're not gonna get thrown out of the school if you don't do these things. They're just, from my personal experience, how to make your overall training experience much, much more beneficial for you. Without further ado, let's get into tip number five. Tip number five is something I really feel like I shouldn't have to say, but I at the same time feel like I need to address anyway. Hygiene. Hygiene. Gene, do not turn up to training if you haven't showered, if you haven't sprayed deodorant, if you haven't brushed your teeth. None of that. Absolutely not. You're working in close proximity with guys. You're close bodily contact. You're both sweating. Bring a towel. Wear deodorant. You don't want to be stinking up the place. Okay? It's, it's cold, hard fact. If you come into a wrestling school and you stink, because you haven't brushed your teeth, you haven't showered, you're not wearing deodorant. Why on earth is anyone going to be working close with you, holding you, touching you? It's, it's no, just no. It's general, it's literally, it's basic hygiene, okay? And it's common courtesy and respect for others. Make sure you smell good before you walk into wrestling school. Tip number four. Wear appropriate clothing. Now, if you're not sure what I mean when I say that, basically anything that you would wear to the gym should be absolutely fine. A t-shirt, some shorts, some joggers, a hoodie if you get a bit chilly. Whatever you would wear normally to the gym is absolutely fine for professional wrestling school. I've seen some guys say that it's not a good idea to wear wrestling merch as it shows that you're, you look more like a fan than you would as someone who wants to be a wrestler is serious about the business. I don't judge on that. If someone turns up to wrestling school wearing a CM Punk t-shirt, I like CM Punk. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, big league them and be like, oh, he should be wearing a normal t-shirt. He's a mark. None of that. And uh, definitely not at square one. That's not a thing. I've seen it and heard about it elsewhere from YouTube videos and stuff about guys not wearing wrestling merch. It's entirely up to you. No one's gonna pass any judgment on you. The only thing I will say that you 100% need is knee pads. Knee pads protect your knees. You're roughing them against a hard, rough canvas. You're going to get carpet burn on them. You're going to be taking impacts on them. Make sure you get knee pads. I've seen a couple guys turn up to their first day of training without them, and they immediately regret it. It is a must-have. Now, speaking of the lower part of the body, the legs, the feet, boots. You don't need a nice pair of wrestling boots for your first day of training. I've seen plenty of guys just wearing their normal running shoes, trainers, sneakers, whatever they would wear to the gym. That is absolutely fine. However, me personally, when I see someone turn up for their first day of training and they're wearing even a cheap pair of Lonsdale boxing boots, something, you know, some sort of grappling shoe, wrestling shoe, it shows to me that they have done a bit of research, they've put the groundwork in and they want to do this. Not just as a one-time session, they want to do this. So, if you want to buy some boots, invest in a pair of boots. If not, trainers are absolutely fine. No judgment to be passed. Tip number three, and this is one of the things that isn't necessarily taught, but you should know anyway. Now, I think the guys that start wrestling school that get the most respect from me personally and, you know, the biggest props I give to them are the ones that clearly show me that they have studied and done their research before they start training. Now, it does not matter, especially where I train, where I come from, square one, we are for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you've got no experience, whether you even like wrestling. We've had guys come in just to give it a try as something active to do. That's absolutely fine. But you will get props if you do 
one of these things in particular. If you wipe your feet on the apron every time before you get in the ring, it shows that you respect the business, you respect everyone that came before you, and you respect the ring that you are about to enter. It's one of those things that I feel like traditionally everyone did. It's been lost a little bit in today's wrestling, which is sad to see, but especially over here, you know, the guy likes of William Regal have preached it time and time again. Respect is everything in this business. If you wipe your feet on the apron every time you get in the ring, on your first day, I guarantee you the trainer in charge is going to give you the respect that you are giving to their ring, to their business. It's one of those small details that will just hopefully give you that extra little step. Tip number two, we're getting to the end of this video shortly. This one is so important. I cannot stress it enough. Treat instructors with respect. When it comes to them teaching, if you're stood on the outside of the ring socializing, making friends with people, don't do it. That's absolutely fine if you wanna do that outside of class time. But when you are on your first day, the instructor's in the ring trying to tell everyone what to do and you're stood outside, oh, so how long have you been doing this, mate? You've been doing it long. And the guy in the ring is telling you how to do something when you don't know what to do. You're not safe because you've never done this and you're ignoring them. It's rude and it's disrespectful. Don't do it. No talking when the instructor's talking. Listen to what they say. If you have questions, ask them. Don't feel like you can't because you know, you're know you in a room full of wrestlers and you don't wanna sound stupid. If you wanna understand how a move is done, ask. There is, a, wrestling is a dangerous enough business as is. There's nothing worse than when a guy is stood in the ring, you're teaching him how to do a suplex or a, a clothesline or something. And he says, yeah, I got it, I understand it. He does the move does it completely backwards. Nine times out of 10, they may think they're doing what they have seen, what they have been taught, but also you know deep down you say to them afterwards, did you understand it? And they were like, no, but I felt you know like I had to say, yeah, well, let's do it. Just ask, just ask questions, plain and simple. It's one of those things. Finally, when it comes to feedback from your trainers, don't answer back, don't talk back. Just because you've seen how to do a suplex on WWE 2K doesn't mean you know how to do it in a wrestling ring, okay? If a trainer is saying to you, you need to put your feet in this position before you do that move, don't turn around and say, yeah, well, it feels more natural for me to be in this position, so I want to do it that way. No, no, that's not how you do it. And that is how you get, that's how you make a bad impression on the trainer and how you make a bad impression on everyone. Be coachable. Listen to what they're telling you. Listen at all times. Don't be talking to other people. And especially when they're giving you feedback, be respectful. Even if you disagree with what they're saying for whatever reason and you don't think they're right, just acknowledge it. Okay, thank you. I'll take that on board. That's what it takes, man. It's not hard. Be respectful. And finally, number one. Now, guys, you may be thinking this is a bit of a cop-out, but honestly, it's so important. Stretch before and especially especially after, my God, my first day of wrestling training, after bumping around the ring, right? I didn't warm down properly. I didn't stretch properly. When I went home, I went to bed. When I woke up the next day, I could not lift my head off the pillow. Learning to tuck your chin, all those muscles being used when they're not used to being used by bumping. I had to literally roll out of bed onto my feet because all day I couldn't lift my head my arms, my back, everything sucked. Everything was tight, it hurt, it made me question if I ever wanted to do it again. Obviously, your body gets used to these things the longer you do it. You know, it probably took me about six months to get used to bumping and it feeling not natural, but not unnatural. And anyway, just make sure you stretch. Before, make sure you're stretching your neck, most important. Do your head rolls, get your stretching on your neck on, Make sure you're using your neck, you're loosening it up, because once you start using those muscles, if it's not warm, it's gonna seize up, it's gonna be tight, and you're gonna regret it the next day. Once again, this may seem like a bit of a cop-out to some of you guys, but I cannot stress enough. The reason it's number one is because of how important it is. Make sure before you start the class, you're warm, you're stretched, you've stretched your arms, your neck, your torso, your legs, everything. And then afterwards, 
do the exact same stretches, warm down, cool down right, and make sure that when you go home the next day, or when you go home that night and you wake up the next day, you wanna try and minimize the pain you're gonna be in. Now, you're gonna be in some pain. It's professional wrestling, it's not ballet. When you wake up the next day, you're gonna ache, you're gonna be sore. But if you've warmed down cor correctly, you've stretched correctly, you should hopefully minimize that. But there you go, guys. That was my personal five professional wrestling training tips for you guys that are starting or you guys that are just new. Now, once again, I train at the UBW Square One Academy. This isn't affiliated with them. This is my personal views, my personal opinion as of the experiences I have had in the industry. Don't please expect, you know, that if you go to square one, for example, you want to train at the same place I am. If you don't do these things, you're going to get big heat. That's not the case at all. This is just my personal views as to what, if I was training and you came in for your first day and you were doing the things like wiping your feet on the apron, it would give you, you know, a, a bigger props with me because I would realize, oh, okay, this guy's done his research. I respect that because he respects the business, etc., etc. Once again, my personal views. If you like this video, let me know in the comments section down below. If you guys are planning on starting wrestling training, tell me about it. Tell me about where you're going. Tell me your journey. I want to know. You know, we're all part of this generation of wrestlers that are up and coming. I want to get to know some of you guys a little bit better. So drop me a comment in the comment section down below. And hopefully, hopefully we can share some advice with each other. But I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe. And good luck on your first day of wrestling school.